Today we're going to be looking at the Redux Custom Fonts extension and how it can integrate and make your life easier. What Custom Fonts is, is it's the ability to let your users add any custom font to their website. With just a simple click and no intervention on your part, you use the same programming, the same typography fields in Redux as you have before, and the plugin does the rest. Let's take a look. So here we have a site, a 2015 standard typical everyday site. So you can see there are no flashing mirrors here, I'll reload the page. That's the font that ships with 2015. We're gonna add a custom font. Now we're gonna go over here to the font panel, the Redux panel, and you'll see that there is a custom font area where you can add a font. We also have a typography field here just so that we can demonstrate. Typical Redux typography field, you can use Google fonts or you can use standard fonts. We're gonna add our own custom font and this is already set to override the H1 and the H2 and different styling tags that exist on the 2015 theme. So we're going to go here to add a file. This is just going to be a typical everyday file. So that you can see here, this is the custom fonts directory that's automatically created. You'll notice there are no custom fonts here. And we're going to take a single OTF file, just one individual file. If anyone knows, when you make a website that does a custom font, you have to have three or four different font formats. Custom fonts will take your single font and dynamically generate for you, as you'll see here, each font file that you need. Now we have an OTF, we have a TTF, we have a WAF, and as it's generating each and every single one of them, it's also going to compile for you a custom CSS file so that you don't have to do anything. Inside here, the fonts.css file has everything already pre-denoted and outlined for you so that you can just edit it. Here, we'll open this up really quick and you'll see. And this file will be automatically and dynamically enqueued on the front end. So here now we're going back to this typography module and now, oh, there's custom fonts. We can select the Trump uh, Crown Pro or whatever, Trump Town Pro. And we'll set it to be italic and we'll hit save. Now all we have to do is go over here to the uh, debug in the sample page and boom. All of the fields have been automatically dynamically updated. The font file was created and you can use your site. You can add unlimited amount of fonts to this given site. Now the great thing is we only uploaded a single OTF. The custom fonts extension took and generated an EOF, an SVG, a TTF, and a WAF file so that all of these could go together and integrate perfectly. That's Redux custom fonts.